All right, all right, check it. Anonymous student. This is our first recording. So today I'm talking about, well, cultural heritage, but mostly types of cultural landscapes and a few examples. So cultural heritage is basically a legacy of physical artifacts or monuments and sites which contain cultural importance to a group of people is basically anything it it basically consists of tangible and intangible heritage those are the two types of cultural heritage tangible and intangible heritage tangible heritage being the physical artifacts the monuments the sites and then intangible heritage being the beliefs the customs the values the norms the teachings the proverbs etc etc so there are four types of cultural landscapes which include historic historically designed landscapes historic sites historic vernacular landscapes and ethnographic landscapes historic designed landscapes are landscapes which were designed by either an architect a horticulturalist or designed by a group of people for architectural reasons. These sites have have to do with a group of people, a movement or a trend, basically put. And an example of historically designed landscapes is Great Zimbabwe. And then historic sites, these are well, landscapes or basically sites which have historic value to a group of people or have to do with historic events. For example, Handa in Zimbabwe, which has to do with Mbuyani Hand. And there are other sites which have to do with the history of people, such as Guru Uswa, which is a mythological site. It's believed to be the place of origin for Zimbabweans. And Historic vernacular landscapes are basically landscapes which which have to do with the beliefs, which have beliefs, customs, and values of a group of people. They basically have that, basically put. And then ethnographic landscapes are landscapes which consist of natural and cultural resources, and the people associated with these landscapes refer to them as heritage resources an example is an example of this is the Njelel. and then for the historic vernacular landscapes i didn't provide an example the nyanga terraces are a good example all right so examples of cultural landscapes i'm going to mention two one of them being Matobo Hills and the other being Mosia Tunia or Victoria Falls. Matobo Hills is referred to as Mabwe Adziva or Jelele or Matonjeni or Matobo Hills. It's basically a site um, which consists of granite rocks. It's a hill which consists of granite rocks and it had importance to the people of the Mbire clan. It contains the history of Zimbabwe as they are various rock paintings which were done by the San people in the area. These rock paintings tell our history as they have figures, drawings on them which tell people about the way of life which the San lived, their beliefs, and rainmaking ceremonies are conducted in Matoba Hills. King Lobengula of the Ndebele state would have priests sent to Matoba Hills to guard the place. And it was believed that the voice of Mwari, the Shana God or the indigenous God, spoke to and spoke to these hills. His voice could be heard at this site. But it has suffered due to colonization as Sisu John Rhodes, an imperialist, renamed the site 
as it was in the area of Matobo, Rhodes Matobo's National Park. Mosia Tunya is Victoria Falls, and Mosia Tunya is special to the Watonga people because they believed that the Zambezi and, and Mosia Tunya was theirs. They believed that their god, Nyami Nyami, the river snake spirit, resided in the Zambezi. And Mosia Tunya is part of the Zambezi. It has an important religious value to them. So in summary, cultural heritage is a legacy of physical objects, monuments, customs, beliefs, and values which are inherited to a generation and passed on from generation to generation. And then there is tangible and intangible heritage is types of cultural heritage. And they are cultural landscapes. A few examples of cultural landscapes include types. A few examples of the types of cultural landscapes include historic design landscapes, historic vernacular landscapes, historic sites, and ethnographic landscapes. Thank you.